Hey, JP here. So I have always loved video games. I remember when I got my first console, it was the Nintendo Wii. That was when I was like 6 or 7 and I remember spending tons of hours playing Mario Kart Wii, the game that I had at the time. But our society... I'm gonna get my dogs their lunch, I'll be back. But society and even in the self-growth community, playing video games and watching Netflix, that sort of things are framed as a bad activity because it is often related to people that don't get anything done, that aren't productive. However, you can still enjoy those activities if you know how to implement them strategically. So in this video, I want to prove to you why you can still do all your enjoyment activities. Okay, so first of all, unlike using social media or consuming alcohol or drugs, Playing video games and watching Netflix are not unhealthy activities to do, they are pretty much harmless. Of course, it can be harmful if you are obsessed with it. For example, if you are obsessed with video games, it can consume a pretty big chunk of your time, therefore you will live a pretty unproductive lifestyle. But that's about it really, the only thing that you need to control is the amount of time that you spend on those activities and that's it. It doesn't hurt your mental and emotional health like social media do and it doesn't affect your physical health like alcohol and drugs do. Now, if those are harmless activities that you enjoy, that means that they are a good reward and a good reward is necessary for building the right habits. Let me explain. Habits are really powerful because they can get you closer to any goal that you have. If you, for example, have a goal of losing weight, then the only habits that you need to work on are doing some exercise and having a healthy diet. That's it. So now that we know that habits are really important to build, you need to have good rewards in order to build those habits. And why is this reward so important? Well, because it is what tells your brain that by doing certain action, you can have a reward. So if you keep on repeating that action, you will keep on repeating having that reward. So it is worth it to keep repeating the same action that you did. For example, I have the habit of working out at home and my reward for it is going to the kitchen and preparing me a delicious protein shake. Apart from being nutritious, it is really tasty. So when I am having my protein shake, I am basically telling my brain, hey, if we keep on doing those workouts, we will get another protein shake. So it is worthy to keep doing those workouts. Now you start to see where we are going to, right? So now we are going to implement those activities of enjoyment in a clever way. So our main strategy is going to be to do those activities after you have done a pretty big task. So here's an example of mine. After I'm done recording this particular video, I'm going to head up to my Switch and play some Super Smash Bros Ultimate. It's a pretty good game that I'm really into. However, I am going to play it after I record this video because that is going to be my reward for recording today's video. Normally, people in the self-development community will tell you to hustle, hustle, hustle and grind, grind, grind all day long without taking a break and that is going to get you burned out a state on which you become mentally unstable due to all the stress that you have put into yourself so i highly encourage you to take these types of rewards and tell me your experience down in the comment section next video contains a very valuable lesson and i don't want you to miss it out so make sure you subscribe in order to stay tuned as always guys, stay growing, that's all from me, see you in the next one.